Right, hello, here we are, back again. I've taken the tube out now. I don't worry, I've sealed off all the ends, look. So we're quite safe, says he, hope so. Um, now, what we're gonna do here, we've got, you can see there's some brown liquid there, look. And you can see we've got a lot of yellow solid there, okay? What happens if I put it in hot water? What happens if I add heat? I add heat, if I add heat, let's see what happens. This is the old experiment, we'll probably lose, we'll just get rid of that. This was the old equilibrium we were looking at last time. We're just lazy though, we can't be bothered to put more beakers out hot and cold. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is hot water, room temperature water, and clearly iced water. What happens if I put this in hot water? Here we go. Oh my word, what's happened to all the yellow stuff? It's all disappeared, look. So basically what's happened is it's turned now mainly into a brown liquid, yeah? Turn into a brown liquid. So if I just leave that for a moment, listen, can you just join me on the board? Let's go over here. If I add heat to the yellow stuff, it's gone brown, isn't it? And I've moved the equilibrium over to the left hand side. So the forward reaction is exothermic, i.e., it gives off heat. Now, what happens if, if I cool it down? We'd expect the opposite to happen, right? Let's see if that happens. So, here we go. Into the ice water we go. And we'll leave that for a moment while I explain the premise of all of this. Let's go back to the board a second, and we'll come back to that in a moment. So, why does this go on? Well, both reactions are possible. The forward reaction and the backward reaction. And this is based on something called the Chatelier's principle, which is a reaction at equilibrium will try to oppose the change you put upon it. So what does that, what does that mean? Well, if we heat it up, we're giving the endothermic route, which is this route, a better chance of success. So we're gonna form more ICL. Now, I'm removing heat as I speak. So we're gonna try and get the reaction to move over to the right to replace the heat that was lost. So we should, as we go back to the fume cupboard, see more yellow stuff by Le Chatelier's principle. Again, the, re the uh, reaction at equilibrium will try to oppose the change we put upon, upon it. So we're removing the heat, so it's gonna try and replace the heat. And form all yellow stuff. Let's see, has that happened? Let's have it. Exciting stuff, open two covers. Melissa, keep up. Ta-da! Oh, that's not so amazing. I mean, but quite clearly at the size, yeah, we have got more yellow formed. At the bottom's not so impressive. I can prove, but look, if I dunk that in there, that yellow will disappear very, very quickly indeed. Yeah, and the yellow's gone completely. So not quite so successful at turning it back. If I left it there for long enough, we certainly would get yellow for me, uh, or maybe add a bit more ice. Cool. Yeah, it takes a bit longer. There we are. 